Shop your review. We check for you. Now, alongside water and tea, coffee is also one of the most drink beverage worldwide, with over 400 billion cups being consumed per year. And for those of you who have been on this channel for quite some time, you guys might already know that I'm also a barista with three years of experience. Now, I will be demonstrating to you guys how you can actually make the perfect cup of coffee with what I have in front of me right now, the Perry Smith 20 Bar Espresso Coffee Machine Retro Series. Priced at 399 ringgit as an entry-level coffee machine, but I can sense that this coffee machine can do wonders. Now wait a minute guys, there's a giveaway right now. In case someone lucky will actually win the cool retro Perry Smith 20 Bar Espresso Coffee Machine. So be sure to watch the full video until the very end so you know how you can win and start making yourself the perfect cup of coffee coffee at home. Now, one of the many questions I get as a barista from customers and friends, what's the biggest difference between an espresso, a latte, and a cappuccino? For today, I will be demonstrating the biggest difference between all those three that I just mentioned earlier. And at the same time, we're gonna talk about the Perry Smith 20 Bar Espresso Coffee Machine. All right, so now let's start off with espresso. How do you make an espresso is simple. All you have to do is grab what, what you call a pota filter. Luckily for us, we actually have two options that comes with this pota filter where you're gonna put the ground coffee in. But right now, I like myself a little bit of a stronger flavor. All you have to do is grab the pota filter, put it on your weighing scale, and go ahead and insert your ground coffee. The scoop that they included, it's actually also a temper. So what is a temper? Well, basically a temper is what you use to press down the ground coffee to make it into a puck so that there won't be anything what they would call a channeling. A channeling is when water just runs through your ground coffee and you won't be getting any flavors at all. Now you have yourself the puck. Just put this on the machine itself. Secure it tightly. Put the cup down there and click this button right here. Now bear in mind that this machine is operated manually so there's no automatic system where it will actually switch off to time your shots. A good rule of thumb is to leave it somewhere around 21, 25, 30 seconds, right? That's a good general rule of thumb. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is an espresso. Okay, so let's say if you guys don't want to go through the hassle of using a ground coffee and you don't necessarily want to make a mess just like I did earlier, introducing coffee capsules. Now the best part about this, it's compatible with any Nespresso compatible coffee capsule. It's just remove the basket for the coffee ground and exchange it with this basket instead. Simply insert the coffee capsules in it, lock it in place, put it in your pota filter and lock it in. You simply repeat the same process as you did with the ground coffee. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful espresso shot. However, this machine is only capable of taking in Nespresso compatible pods, so do bear that in mind as well. For most of the professional and industrial coffee machine, the pressure that it produces is 9 bar, which is really good for you to extract really good espresso. However, if you're looking for something that is just for you at home, you know, chilling, waking up in the morning, you want to get yourself a coffee machine that produces a good espresso, coffee machine with a 20 bar is more than enough. What you also be getting in this coffee machine is a cup warmer right here up the top. So you want to warm up your cup so when you pull the espresso shot, it'll still maintain under the same heat. Because if your cup is too cold and your espresso is really hot, it wouldn't taste as nice. So thank you for including a cup warmer. All right, giveaway, right? This time around, we'll be doing it slightly different than the way we've done giveaways in the past Shopee review. What's gonna happen is one lucky winner will be selected and we will send a unique voucher code that they can use to claim their prize from Perry Smith on Shopee. All you have to do is drop a comment down below what are the main steps for you to clean this coffee machine. If you wanna know the answer to that, make sure you watch the entire video. I wish you all the best and may the best coffee drinker win. Okay, so we went through what an espresso is. Now let's talk about cappuccino. Get the pods in. Put it in your porta filter. Now the waiting game begins. 
Let's put some milk in the pitcher. So we're gonna go ahead and first and foremost, it's very important for you to purge. Okay, once it's all just steam, all you have to do is just insert this in and go ahead and steam your milk. It's very important to note that you should not oversteam it. The taste will become completely different. So there's an ideal temperature that you need to hit. If it's too hot for you to hold, that's when you should stop steaming it. There we go. And we're good to go. Always remember as well to wipe your steam one. Very important for hygiene purposes. Now get your espresso and pour it. There you have it, a heart-shaped cappuccino. Now for latte, all you have to do is pull your shot just like you did with the espresso. The key to having a good latte art is in the milk itself. Pour it on your pitcher, put it in there. And you guys might be wondering what kind of milk is suitable with latte art and all that. The one that is very nice to froth is always fresh milk, dairy milk. If you go with uh, low-fat milk, sure you can achieve the same look, but texture-wise, taste-wise, it's just completely different than full cream. However, if you are into alternative milk, the closest is soy. Because when you're frothing a milk, you are frothing all the fat contains of the milk all the way up. And soy is actually pretty fatty on its own. And all that's left for me right now is to pour the art. Make sure when you pour it, it's in a swirling motion. You mix the espresso with the milk. And towards the very end, you stop and give it a good heart right there. There you have it. What's the difference between a latte and a cappuccino? It's just that a latte has slightly less foam compared to a cappuccino. Now that I've gone through all of that with you guys, comes to the part where we need to clean the machine to maintain its lifespan. And most important thing to do is always to switch off the machine first. Let it cool down for about five to 10 minutes. And when it's finally cooled down like mine right now is, Remember, this is a very important thing to take note of. Never, ever, ever use a detergent to clean. All you need is a damp cloth and just simply wipe through. And once you're done with that, all you have to do is just pick up this coffee tray. Be careful because there are some water coming from it. And you remove the water tank. You have to clean the water tank regularly. And last but not least, the pota filter itself. All the removable parts, you can wash it with clean water and dry them accordingly. Very simple and easy cleaning steps. Man, I gotta say, I really love reviewing coffee machines. If you guys don't wanna keep your options limited, definitely check out another review that I've done before in the past for another coffee machine. What are my personal thoughts on the Perry Smith 20 bar espresso coffee machine? Now, as a barista, I definitely understand that coffee has been gaining its popularity over the last few years. That being said, the prices are definitely hiking up as well. With the price of 399 ringgit, I definitely see that this can actually be an investment so you don't have to spend much more money outside. Other than the price factor, what you'll be getting on this very simple and easy and straightforward coffee machine, things like the water tank, cup warmer, you know, the fact that it is actually compatible with coffee pots and ground coffee. It's a two-in-one coffee machine. You also get a steam one. It's definitely a worth buy for a lot of people who enjoys drinking coffee at home. Now, if there's something that I wish that this coffee machine have is a better steam one so I can actually do better latte art. However, yet again, it goes back to the fact that it's priced at 399 ringgit. Really, there's nothing much to complain about. Now, that's all my personal thoughts on this beautiful, retro, cool-looking coffee machine. My name is Bradley Tipa, and I've been the host and barista for today's show. If you find this video useful, definitely leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our future review as well. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.